welcome to another episode of Story Hackers. My name is Joanna Fabicon, and I'm a children's librarian at the Los Angeles Public Library. Today, we are at El Pueblo, an important landmark in the history of early Los Angeles. El Pueblo is a major gathering spot, a place for fun events, and a cultural hub in the heart of downtown. As always, we're going to hack into a book by examining all the great things we love about it. Patty Valdivinos, a librarian in our multilingual services department, is the perfect person to talk about this book. She was part of the team that gave Dreamers by Judy Morales the Pura Belpre Illustrator Award. Patty, can you tell us more? Thanks, Joanna. Of course, I'm always excited to talk about this beautiful picture book. And I picked one up here at the Robert Louis Stevenson Branch Library. Before we hack into Dreamers, let's talk a little bit about this story. The mother, who recently immigrated to this country and is learning a new language, takes it day by day through trial and error in the hopes of creating a safe and loving home for her and her son. They are caminantes, which means walkers, and they travel thousands and thousands of steps until one day they discover the public library. She was suspicious at first because the idea of free books was unbelievable. But once she gained trust, she and her son devoured the books. You see, this is how they learned the English language. And you know what? That is why the public library is so special. It holds tons and tons of picture books and chapter books, but we also have a ton of nonfiction material which can improve your reading so that you can get better at it too. Dreamers is based on Yuyi Morales' immigration story. Not only did Yuyi write this book, she painted and illustrated it too. The pages are rich with acrylic paintings and drawings and photographs of objects that are important to her life. You'll notice this book does not have any words, but what makes it so special is that the story is told through art and visuals. And now, to hack into this story experience, we're starting at 425, the language arts section. If you too want to improve your reading and writing skills, this is where to find the books you need. Sheila Dignan's book, A Visual Guide to Grammar and Punctuation, would be especially great for someone who is learning English and wants to improve their writing skills. This book is excellent because it uses beautiful photographs and connects them with concepts and grammar rules. If you check out this book, you'll be a pro in no time. We went over to 741, the art section, to look at how pictures tell stories or can give you messages. This section has lots of drawing books, one of them being Ed Emberley's drawing book, Make a World. One thing I really appreciate about this book is how easily it is to find what you want to learn to draw. As we saw in Yuyi's book, she knew how to draw everything, people, buildings, cars, and so much more. And in drawing book, Make a World, the author includes a lot of these things too, making it easy for you to draw your own compositions or story scenes. All right, let's be caminantes like Yuyi and her son and continue our journey to our last book of the Story Hackers Adventure. In Dreamers, they walked thousands of steps until they found their public library. We don't have to walk very far, but we do have to keep track of our numbers. stop is at 973, the history or social studies section. Gabrielle Balkin's The 50 States is a very big and colorful book, which makes me feel like I'm holding a work of art. We have a rich history of people who were born here, or like Yuyi, immigrated and did great things to shape our country. Flip through the pages to look at hand-drawn pictures, or read through the text to learn about all the 50 states. You'll find out what is so special about each state and the diverse people who helped create its history. And now that we've picked up books on grammar, drawing, and history, it's time to check them out. 
This library card was designed by Gajin Fujita, who had his imagination and creativity stirred right here at the R.L. Stevenson branch. He dreamed about combining traditional woodblock prints with street art to create vibrant new pieces of art that are unlike anything you've ever seen before. Patty for introducing us to all those great books about language, art, and history. I recently visited my friend Chris Kiefer at the Northridge Branch Library. He had an idea for an activity to help us link to our story. Let's take a look at what he dreamed up. Hi Chris. Hey Joanna, how are you? I'm great, wow. You have a lot of drawings here. Are they inspired by the book Dreamers? They sure are, and in fact, I have an activity that I think is gonna make you flip out. <gasps> Will it? Will it, yes, look at this. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm gonna show you how to make a flip book using uh, pages of paper and just kind of change the drawings from page to page and I'll, I'll walk you through it. So I took inspiration from this page. There's a uh, flower on the back here. So I'm going to tell the story of the flower coming to life. So it's going to start off as a small stem and then bloom into a full flower. So on this first page that I have here, I, I'm going to start off drawing the stem very, very tiny. And then on the next page here, I'm going to take, I'm going to try to line it up the stem so it's in the same spot. And then I'm going to draw the stem just a little bit taller still. And then on this next page, we're gonna draw the stem just a little bit taller still. And on this next page, we're gonna draw it a little bit taller still. Oh, let me guess, for the next one, taller uh, a still. A little bit taller still, correct. <laughs> so we're gonna keep adding to the story. We're gonna keep adding to the drawings. And then like I said, once you get them all together and you can bind them at the edge or staple them together, and once you flip through them in a sequence, it looks like the drawing comes to life and it's animated like this. Wow they really did come to life. This is amazing. Was this hard to do? Not really. Like I said, all you need is just common household items, pencils, uh, pieces of scratch paper. If you cut them all about the same size, it makes it easier for you. But as you can see, these aren't perfect. Um, just as long as they're roughly the same size. And then it's just a matter of thinking in terms of your story, uh, thinking about where you wanted to start, where you wanted to end, and just kind of repeating the same drawings over and over, adding to them a little bit by bit so that, like I said, when the, once they're shown in a sequence, it looks like they're animated. And you don't need to cut these squares out too. I see this one is just Correct, yeah. a if pad you, of sticky paper. If you have a, a, a pad of sticky paper, you can use those. You can get, um, you can also find store-bought kind of flip books like that as well. But I like doing it the do-it-yourself method. This is very inspiring. Thank you for showing us another way to tell our own story, just like in Dreamers. Um, can I have one of these? Absolutely. <laughs> Sticky pads. I'm going to take this home. All right. And do a flip book myself. Sounds great. One of the treasures of El Pueblo is this mural by Leo Politi, depicting the blessing of the animals, an annual tradition in the plaza since 1938. During the four years he worked on the mural, Politi also carved the wood ornament over the entrance of the building and designed the stained glass and tile at the foot of the mural that bears its name. One place to learn more about Leo Pulidi, murals, or Juji Morales is World Book Kids, found at the bottom of our Kids Path webpage. Once there, start typing M O R A, and a few names will suddenly appear. Click on Juji Morales to find and learn more about all the books that she helped create. Don't forget to visit Activities for Creative Fun 
and the doodle and design or craft sections. And definitely check out the important people section. Want to find out even more about Juji Morales? Take a look at this website, teachingbooks.net, where you get to meet the author. You'll find her name and other authors too. Maybe even some of your favorites. To enjoy more stories from history, head back to the Kids Path webpage and this time click on Book Flicks. Look for the People and Places category. Here you'll find lots of books that are either read to you or that you can read on your own. You can learn about others who have done things to make the world better. Why are these library resources important? Let's take a final look at our story. Juji's book is about her immigrating to the United States with her son, a move she made without knowing English. With access to the library's free tools, Juji was not only able to learn, but she became an award-winning illustrator and author. Throughout the book, you can see her and her son working together to make books. You can find many of these books available at the Los Angeles Public Library. That brings us to the end of today's Story Hackers episode. We discovered great library books and resources that will help us keep learning and dreaming. Until the next time we get to hack a story together, take care and happy reading. Hello, I'm John Zabo, the City Librarian for the Los Angeles Public Library, and I hope you enjoyed watching today's episode and learned something exciting and new. The Los Angeles Public Library is here to support your family, and our fabulous staff is always ready and eager to help you develop a lifelong love of learning. So keep reading, and make sure to catch our next episode on KLCS.